And if you pick the wrong anthem for a season that God has told you to do something else, it's witchcraft. Oh, let me stop. He told you to be single in this season and you're praying for a relationship. That's witchcraft. What are you doing? You're being disobedient. And for many of you, I came to wake you up because I believe that God has called you. Everybody say to launch in victory. Okay, some of y'all haven't studied space, but one thing I learned by talking to Bishop, we were looking at spacecrafts, and what ends up happening is when, when spacecrafts go up, when they launch, there's certain weight that helps them get to a certain atmosphere. But once it gets to a certain atmosphere, if that weight doesn't drop off, it cannot go into the next place that God has called it to go. Some of y'all got me. You are believing God to do something in your life, but you will not launch. You will not drop the weight. You will not do what God's called you to do. I found that many of the giants in our life, we have made up projected stories about what they will do to us if we confront them. When God has already told us that we have the victory if we just step into the ring. And what we do is we spread lies and exaggerate the truth and make these notions that aren't even true. We assume that the banking system won't approve the loan. We assume that we can't go into a minority situation and become the majority. We assume because they never let no black people come and buy up the biggest arena in Big Speed that nobody could do it. But my God, uh-oh, let me stop. But my God has something that he wants to do inside of your life that may be the prototype. So if you're going to launch in victory, write this down. You have to see in victory. See, I, I don't got nothing to make it happen right now, but see it. 37 days after I became the lead pastor of this church, God showed me something. He allowed me to, everybody say, see. And this is a beautiful thing about seeing. Seeing's free. When we was young, my parents used to take us in, in wealthy neighborhoods because they didn't want to, I found this out later, they didn't want to pay for us to go to Celebration Station or any of those things. And so we would play this game called, That's My House. Now, I don't know if any parents still do that to these days, but they roll all the windows down and you go through neighborhoods you don't live in and the kids say that's my house <laughs> that's my house one of the things that i loved about that is at a young age i got to see things that i was not privy to in my own life seeing is free and seeing can happen even in the situation that is unfavorable i'm not talking about sight I'm talking about everybody say vision when I say see in victory I want you to get a vision of yourself on the podium with the trophy whatever that trophy looks like for you if the trophy is your family being healed and whole I want you to see yourself standing around your family at Christmas time and it actually being real love in that room I want you to see the victory and the truth of the matter is, is that most of us are lacking vision. I told my team this morning, I said, I have so much clarity on the vision that God has given us for this church. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what God has prepared for us. Why? Not because it's happening right now. It's because I can see it. Everybody close your eyes. What do you see? What do you see in your health? What do you see in your family? What do you see in your marriage? What do you see in your self-esteem? Get a vision. A lot of people are praying for things God will never do because you were disobedient to the last instruction. Do you know how many wasted prayers there are? Not because God doesn't want to answer them, it's because you were disobedient to the last instruction. God doesn't skip over things he says and tells you to do. That's like my kids going to ask their mama, can I have a, 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 a juice box? And she says, what did your daddy say? And daddy said, no, but that's why I came to ask you. 
because we're looking out for the actual validity and the betterment of our child, we stay unit. God's not skipping his own word. The Bible says he's a man of his word. He does not lie. If he told you to do something, he's not skipping over it in a new season. You might have forgot he didn't. And that's why you can obey even when it looks opposite. See and vision.